Hey everybody, it's Stephanie. Um, I wanted to come on here. I am, oh boy, one, two, five days away from my actual breast augmentation surgery. And okay, first of all, I'm gonna say I know I look, look like garbage, but it's late at night and I was watching some of your videos and I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot to tell them something. So here I am. Um, <clears throat> about a week ago, uh, Mike and I went to my prior surgeon's office, the one who basically screwed me, um, and I requested a copy of all my records, my file, my pictures, everything, because I want to have it all ready and available, and I also want to be able to look through everything before my surgery so that if there's anything that I need my new surgeon to help me with, um, I could let him know. Well, um, when we went in originally, the girl at the front desk was there, but the surgeon was gone. It was a Friday. Um, and she said, oh, well, which honestly, it pissed me off because she said, well, I'm very busy right now. I'm going to have to, you're going to have to come back on Monday and pick this stuff up because I have patients to deal with. I felt like saying, you stupid moron, I paid you $8,400. I'm your patient. Regardless of whether or not you're still seeing me or not, I paid you to take care of this and to talk to me. So don't shove me aside like I'm not here. But instead, I just tried to contain myself. And I was like, you know what? That's cool. I'll just wait over here. And she was like, oh, you're going to wait? I said, yeah, I'll wait. Well, it was my understanding that they would have to give me, excuse me, my records, like, immediately. But, oh, according to everyone else, and, well, not necessarily everyone else, but according to the website that we looked up the information on after being told this, the girl told me later, after we had sat there for a good half hour, that she technically had two weeks legally to get a copy of my records before they had to release that information to us. I said, okay, well then I want a statement um, in writing, signed, with a date, explaining that you guys are not going to alter my medical records. And she says, well, I already know that. Uh, we can't alter your medical records legally anyway. Does it look like you guys do things legally? No, I don't think so. So I was like, that's fine. Just, I still want a letter. So she wrote a letter out and signed it. Well, today she called me and said that my medical records were here and my file was ready, so I went and picked it up. Well, the last time I went in to see my surgeon for my pre-op appointment, um, Mike was with me and I specifically asked him, looking at me in your professional opinion in the last 32 years of practice that you've been doing this, would you say that I have capsular contracture? Um, and or contracture and his words were ma'am in my professional opinion no you don't have even the slightest bit of, of capsular contracture what you have is just a pocket that's not been released and that's why they're sitting high on your, bo your, your body still and I was like okay well um, every time that I went into the surgeon's office she kept telling me that, oh, it's, it looks like you're getting capsular contracture, all this stuff. And I don't know any better because I've never had this before. So I figured that surgeon knew what she was talking about, but clearly she did not. And she messed up. And he also told me that it's not capsular contracture that's causing my breast implants to fall out laterally. It's because she did not cut me medially and because she probably over dissected me laterally which is causing them to be pushed outward um so i open up this folder and lo and behold her trying to cover her butt from the moment that she heard about this she's obviously panicking because she puts this notice here in my little file i don't know if you can see this but she put a little thing it's right on the top and it says dear stephanie as you requested, encloses a copy of your medical records and the before and after pictures. Okay. It is unfortunate that you developed 
developed capsular contractures after your surgery? Uh, no. I have not developed any capsular contracture. Um, then it says, the surgery has a risk of capsular contractures as a possible complication. Harley. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but our dog is like barking in his sleep. Um, <laughs> Harley. Buddy, wake up. And I think he's awake. Anyhow, it says, <laughs> um, you may recall that you were counseled on the risk before surgery during the informed consent discussion. Yeah, of course I was counseled on what happens when people get capsular contracture or contracture or whatever. And yeah, I was told that capsular contracture is a possibility. And it's one of the most common possibilities. However, according to my new surgeon who has been in business much longer than her, who actually has a plastic surgery license, not just a cosmetic surgery license, tells me that I do not have capsular contracture. So here she is trying to put a label on what I had, or have, um, which is actually incorrect. And by saying, you may recall, is her way of trying to say that she told me that she covered all these bases. Well, what she doesn't recall is the fact that every single time I went in there, I mentioned to her, why are they so far out underneath my armpits? And every single time it was the same excuse, capsular contracture, capsular contracture, wrong. Anyhow, I'm so irritated. So then it says, the capsular contractures developed early after your surgery. Um, no. Is, if she means early as in the day of my surgery, wow, that's surprising that that can happen that quick. Um, because they were out underneath my armpits the day of surgery. Um, and cause the displacement of your implant superiorly, superiorly and laterally in the pocket. I'm sure it was the capsular contracture the day of surgery that caused it laterally. No. That would have been somewhat of, um, I'm going to say, surgeon error. Yeah. Um, despite my attempts to prevent it, it still developed. Her attempts. Does she mean the attempt of her going to... Thailand for three weeks and leaving me with a wide open wound under my boob because if that's what she means I don't know I think she's a little confused um, as to what attempts are um, for those patients who develop a capsular contracture with resulting displacement subsequent revision surgeries have a high recurrence rate well I sure hope that's not the case but if it is she's in a lot more trouble than she thinks she is um, anyway the last part says I encourage you to seek a second opinion with another surgeon if you so desire and wish you well. If I so desire. Though she seriously tried to keep me in her office for as long as she possibly could and tried to convince me to have the surgery, the revision surgery for capsular contracture uh, for a whole lot cheaper with her. But really what it was was she told me, Oh, and I'm going to a seminar. The moment that I mentioned the words um, lateral displacement, like I guess that's a medical term for it, um, instead of me just saying, hey, they're out under my armpits, why is that? The moment I actually said they're laterally displaced, she immediately was like, oh, I'm going to a, a seminar this weekend to learn how to do the revision surgery on that. It seems kind of ironic that you would randomly be going to one of those places given the fact that you've been telling me that the whole time that this issue is happening is because of capsular contracture, yet you're going to do a surgery or you're planning to do a surgery on me for a revision for lateral displacement and most likely because she cut it way too far off to the side. So she was freaking out that I was going to another surgeon and he was going to see what a horrible job she did. And trust me, I'm going to have him read this and I'm going to be like, look, you know, she's saying that it's capsular contracture. Once you get in there and you do the surgery and you can absolutely verify that there is no capsular contracture, that the reason why it looks this way is because she over dissected. I need that in writing because this is what I have up against me and I'm taking her to the cleaners. I'm sorry. She's not going to be cutting on anybody else. And unfortunately, I don't have the means or the time right now with my surgery coming up to go to court with her, nor do I have all the information that I needed until now but my surgery is in five days. 
so um, I'd rather wait till after my surgery anyway so that way I can have the letters from him and all that stuff anyways you can make noise babe it's okay my husband's in the closet like trying to put a shelf in there and he's trying to be all quiet how sweet anyway I tried to convince him to get on here and say hi to you guys but no no, huh? Nope. Sometime I'll get him on here. It's not that big of a deal. Anyhow, this is the, uh, I'm glad they noted this because this is actually important in my favor because I did say and actually state these words. It says, on 116 I went into her, or what I called patient called in regards to not being happy with her breast augmentation or lift. She said she was going to seek a second opinion and would not return to seek care under Dr. So-and-so. I'm going to say her name right now. From now on. And then, you know, <clears throat> it's just, I'm, I'm going through like all this stuff here and I'm thinking, oh my gosh. You know, however, I would have liked it if this surgeon would have wrote legibly because right now I can barely read what she wrote. Um, but I'm sure there's people who can read it. <coughs> and there's also documentation in here um, about her... What is this? Sorry, I just looked about something. It says something about... Oh, oh yeah, that was that stupid um, post-operative report that she gave me that was so generic that could have been used for pretty much anyone. Huh. Yeah, that was that was interesting. Anyhow, I am going to read through all this stuff and I'll keep you guys updated. Um, I'm gonna have Mike do a video of me after surgery um like last time because you know me i will tell you exactly how i feel and you can see me at my worst and you have seen me at my worst and i don't want anybody to be surprised when they go and get a breast augmentation or a lift or a revision in this case to be like oh i didn't realize it was that painful no it's it's definitely painful i don't want people to be like Oh, it's such a simple surgery and you're you're in and out. Well, not always. And obviously, as in, in my situation, I was not in and out. I've been doing, dealing with this for the past four months. Ugh. It's awful. Just awful. But hopefully it will be fixed um, next week. If not, I mean, I don't know. I'm going to be really, really, really disappointed. <laughs> They're going to have to check me into a mental institute if that's the case. So I'm going to break down. I'm going to lose it. You hear that, babe? Huh? If it doesn't work, you're going to have to take me to a mental institute. I don't think I can handle it. Alright. <laughs> Anyhow. <laughs> Alright. Alright, guys. That's it for now. I'll talk to you later.